In this video, we are working with the uh, CL5500 model with Paul, and which is this one here, um, the one with the pole. And what we're doing is connecting to the scale with the USB cable, um, the one that, uh, you know, here, let me move the camera. So it looks like this. Uh, that, that part will connect to the computer and the other part connects to the scale and it looks more square like it would on the one that you know connects the printer. Um, so I'm gonna quickly connect this to my computer. And um, what we wanna do next is make sure that we have an app that's called uh, CL Works Pro. You can contact us if you don't know where to get this app. Uh, but once you have it, you can go to config and scale and uh, to get started, basically, you want to click on add here. You want to stay on a serial because you're not using connection like internet. You're using a cable, even though it's a USB cable. Um, here, I'm going to choose COM4 because I've verified that this is the COM on which the driver was installed when I plugged the scale in. Uh, baud rate, I'm going to try 19200. Uh, I have to specify what model I have and whether it's old, so there it is. You can give it a name, test name. All right, and then we just click on connect. And if you do that, it's gonna ask you to select the scale that you wanna to connect to. All right, and there it is, we have a connection, okay? And once we have the connection, I can now navigate to data and then look at the plu. Uh, yeah, sure, let's save it. Uh, and I have some items added here, right? So I have my grape, my banana, my cucumber, uh, blue number one, two, three, default department. All of these are weight, uh, you know, and they can also be non-weight or by count. Uh, item code and blue number, I like to keep the same, right? So this is, needs to be two, this needs to be three. Uh, there's a grape, green, banana, fresh, Cucumber, fresh, right? So that would be just the second line on the label. Um, unit price, you know, it'd be hard to imagine it costing that much, but why not? Uh, we can dream, right? And um, let's see if we have images, uh, tear value, uh, sell by date, and update date, all right. So uh, we have that here. And what I'd like to do now is download, right? Like that. Okay. Or maybe we do upload. Yeah, we did the upload. We did upload and three items went in. And it says so right here. Um, all right. And once that's done, all right, so select uh, the update, update existing data with the data retrieved from scale, create uh, clear all data. All right, so that's kind of cool. So we're just gonna go ahead and say clear all data list insert. All right, so there it is. And theoretically now we should be able to put something on a scale like so. That's one, two, and indeed, uh, let me just do one more time. One, two, one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, so that's what a label looks like um, when we did that. So it's pretty good. We're there. Um, now I want to make sure that I change the store name. Uh, that would be the, the, the bottom part of the label. Right, and to do that, I am going to go <laughs> store. Um, sure, why not? Let's save it. All right, and uh, name. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add uh, called one name. Oh, so this can also be specific. All right, so CSI works. Phone number 619-246-8236. All right, and let's go ahead and upload this to the scale. All right, that's done. Close, 
update existing data. All right, so there it is. We're gonna update this and say CSI works. And the phone number is gonna be 619-246-8236. And we're gonna say upload, close. All right, wait. I don't get it. Did I do it or not? CSI works. Uh huh. Six one nine two four six eight two. Uh -huh. Don't type too fast. Three six. All right. Upload. Uh huh. All right. Let me just try it. One two. Nope. It's not updated. All right. So let's do like this. CSI works. Six one nine two four six eight two three six. Uh, upload. All right, let's use this option. Obviously, it's not helping. Okay, let's do this. Delete that. Yes. All right, so I'm just going to delete that name. Close. Now, what do we have? And we're going to add CSI works. All right, it will be 619-246-8236. And we're going to, is it download to scan? All right, yeah, download to scan. All right, now let's try it. One, two, one, and one more time, one, two, Okay. It says CSI work 619 246 uh, There you go. All right, so that's how we basically change the headers. Um, I think that's pretty good. I think we're good. All right.